When we talk about cryptography, we tend to only think about one part of the CIA of security. Now remember, CIA stands for confidentiality, integrity, and availability. So when we talk about cryptography, we tend to concentrate on confidentiality, right? We're encrypting stuff. Well, that's not always the case. Well, what I want to talk about right now is something called hashing. A hash provides integrity when it comes to the CIA of security. Now, we don't encrypt with a hash. We make things integrityified. I'm going to stick to that word because that's now a part of the Webster's Dictionary. So, let me explain how a hash works. The idea behind a hash is that it is an algorithm. That's why I got my algorithm machine here. And it doesn't encrypt. What it will do is it will take a arbitrarily large amount of data and you take that data and you run it through and it comes out in a fixed value every time. So if I have a five letter input, it's going to come out however, whatever size the hash is. If I have a 300 billion byte input, it's always still going to come out this size. Now at first glance you'd say, well Mike, what am I going to do with that? Well, there's a couple of things about hashes that are cool. Number one, hashes are one way. If I generate this and I create a hash, there is no way, it is impossible to figure out what the actual original data was. The other thing that's cool about a hash is that it's deterministic. So, look at this value, it starts with 1A6, got it? So I take this document, and it doesn't have to be a document, it could be an image, it doesn't matter, as long as it's ones and zeros. And if I could take all knowledge known to man from the beginning of mankind and put it into a big Word document and I could go to page 405,326,427,622 and I could go in there and change one letter, one letter, change so this uppercase C I could change it to a lowercase C and if I take that value and I run it through a hash algorithm it's going to come out with a completely different value. So hashes are a very good way to say this is the data from which I got. So for example, if I'm downloading a big executable file, I can run a hash on it and compare it to the hash value that's up on the website and then that way if it didn't come down right or something, I could clearly and very explicitly know that this is the right value. So hashes are something we use all over the place within the world of cryptography. So that's the basics of a hash. Now, people will ask me, especially if you've just been exposed to this, what, what, what do we do with hashes? The easier answer is within the world of cryptography, you would be hard pressed to find a place where we don't use hashes. Um, some great examples. Example number one, password storage. Most operating systems never store your password. So you type in a password, da 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 da, and you hit enter, and the password is saved onto the hard drive only as its hash. So when you type in your password to log into something, it goes ahead and hashes it and compares it and says, oh, you typed in the right password. We use hashes on virtually every type of encryption and authentication known to man. We use hashes everywhere. So what I'm warning you right now is you only need to memorize the different types of hashes starting from here and going through the rest of this course. We're going to be seeing hashes over and over again.